What? Physical therapy to help me poop? Fiber is not always the answer. Hi there, this is Justine Calderwood, pelvic floor physical therapist and owner here at the Healing Spot Physical Therapy. Welcome back to our mini series where we're talking about ways to relieve constipation and get things moving again that aren't related to changing your diet. Oftentimes our patients come in and they say, you know what, my diet's on point, I've been taking all the fiber, I've been um, eating healthier, like everything is better in that regard and, and I'm still constipated, can you help me? Absolutely. So if you didn't catch the first two videos in our mini, se mini series, go back and watch them. We'll have put the links below. Um, but we talked about three reasons that you might be constipated that aren't related to uh, your diet. Now, keep in mind there may be other reasons than what we mentioned. But quickly, just to recap, we talked about poor toileting habits. Um, we talked about stress and trauma and how that can influence um, and cause some slow movement into the digestive tract. And then also we talked about pelvic floor dysfunction. And then our second video, we talked about tips that you can start at home to help with those three things. So today we're gonna to expand a little bit more and we're gonna talk about kind of our arena here as pelvic floor physical therapists and what we do to help our patients feel better so they're not having all the abdominal bloating and the fullness and so they get things moving. Um, and they can have regular bowel movements. How do we help with that? You might be thinking, what? There's physical therapists that do this? I thought you guys just treated uh, people for, you know, like sports injuries or maybe um, car accidents, things like that, but absolutely not. This is a whole specialty field and I wanna um, help you understand a little bit more today how a specialist physical therapist can help you as well. In our second video in this mini series, we went over some tips that you can do at home and one included the colon massage. And we gave you a little snippet of what that looks like. We do have a longer video on that as well. Today, I wanna just invite you into the treatment room with me and show you a little bit about what it might look like if you were an actual patient of ours. So oftentimes we use our hands, we do some manual physical therapy. Um, so again, you might be having a lot of bloating or uh, fullness into this area. A really great technique I like to do is just kind of gather up the tummy here and do like a fascial lift or even assessing how well does one side move versus the other. And just assessing, you can see here, she moves a little bit better towards the right than I'm able to get towards the left, you know, so I can feel this tightness into this right side of the abdomen and hip. So even lifting up like this and doing a very gentle prolonged hold, we might even get up into um, the rib cage and the upper abdominals. So think about the, all of these abs being tight and causing a lot more restriction, say, into that digestive tract to be able to move. So we can assess things like the rib cage, how well, does she move as she inhales into that diaphragm and try to get the rib cage to expand and how well that diaphragm and the rib cage comes back together. So, so oftentimes people are tight into this area and we can even get into the rib cage, into the diaphragm to start to release that. So we get better breath control. Was we really want that breath to come down we want the, the tummy to fill up, but we really want this expansion through the rib cage. So we're relaxing into this area and allowing this to flow. Oftentimes we hear from patients and we see that they have a lot of tightness into the front of the hips. So um, it may look like some release work here into the front side of those hip flexors. Okay, and I'm going through this pretty quickly, but just so you can see, it's very, very gentle. We're always listening to the body. We're not trying to force um, our way in there, but getting in there and allowing this to flow down and relax into the pelvic floor area. Even from the back side, we can check to see how tight are we into the back. I mean, that's just the, the back part of the front, right? <laughs> so even doing some release work here into the back, okay, maybe warranted, or even into the buttocks. We often find that a lot of times that if you're constipated and you're not really breathing and relaxing into the pelvic floor area, that you might be a butt clencher and keeping a lot of tension into the buttocks there. So we, we can definitely assess that as well. The third thing we talked about was pelvic floor dysfunction. So how does a pelvic floor physical therapist help with that? I know I gave you the tip of using the small ball and that's a great place to start at home. 
going back to what we just left off with is working those um, kind of those muscles from the outside. Why is that important when it comes to um, helping to el eliminate very easily and with constipation? Well, here's the bony structure. Um, really, those glute muscles, they come over and attach onto this bony part of your pelvis and onto the tailbone, onto the sacrum here, okay? Um, but pelvic floor muscles run front to back and fill this space all along the bottom of your pelvis. So we want those muscles to have the mobility that they need in order to allow, you know, stool to come on down into the rectum and allow it to pass out of the body. Well, you can imagine if the muscles are tight and they're keeping a lot of tension in there, or if you're kind of disconnected with being able to use the muscles properly and relax, how that could keep things bound up. So as pelvic floor physical therapists, we always start external, meaning into that lower abdomen, into the hips. We look at all of that to find out where might you need a little bit of help? We also offer internal pelvic floor work. Now, this isn't something that we do within five minutes of meeting you. We wanna to get to know you and build your trust and um, you know, help you to see how we can help you in this way before we go into this very intimate part of your body. Um, this is a female pelvis here, but really what we could do is some internal work. And when, when people hear that, sometimes they're like, what does that mean, Justine? I don't know, what are, what are you talking about, going into my body? Absolutely. So what that looks like for women um, is we, we glove up and we just use one finger and we can go into the vaginal opening and we can feel those muscles. So here's the vagina here, here's the rectum here, okay? So we can even feel part of the pelvic floor muscles inside the vaginal space. So if I take these organs out, you're gonna be able to see these muscles, okay, down in there. So I'm gonna put the rectum back in just so you can see. Rectum comes down here, so the colon is all kind of gathered in here and coiled in, and then it ends in the rectum, right? And we gotta have that stool be able to come on down. Well, if these muscles are really tensed and holding on for dear life, or if you don't really quite know how to relax this area, then guess what? Things get a little bound up, okay? So that's something that we can help with as well as pelvic floor physical therapists. I don't wanna scare you. It's not something, again, that we do right away, but it is an option to help even more. So you may be wondering at this point how we might be able to help you as well, and you might have some additional questions related to what's going on with you, and we would love to answer any questions that you have. The best place to get started is to head to our website and fill out a form to inquire about um, our services and just click the button that says uh, cost and availability and uh, we would love to connect with you and answer any questions and explain even more how we can help you get moving again, feel better and enjoy life again.